Hi guys, in this lesson we're going to take a look at computed observables in Knockout. We've seen how observables are used to provide a two-way binding between data in our view model and elements in our UI. Computed observables are similar, but can also provide bindings between different properties in our view model. Let's look at an example. Currently the title text in the header of our app is linked to the title property of the view model by our editable content custom binding. Let's remove this binding from just the title element, as well as the click bubble and click bindings and the editable class, making this element non-editable completely. We'll revert back to the text binding for this element once we've added the computed observable. So first of all, we can add a new observable property to our view model called date. So now we need to populate this when we get the photo set details. We can do this in our handle details method. The request to get the photo set details already returns a date, but it returns it in Unix epoch time, so we'll just need to convert it. So first we want to parse the date from the update property of the date property of the photo set. So again, this is something that's set by Flickr. Then we can create a new date. And let's just declare an empty array. So the date object is currently set to zero. So now we want to set the UTC seconds using the epoch that we've just parsed out of the date property. We can then populate the short array with a friendlier date. And we can do that by getting various things from the date object that we've just set to UTC seconds. So we're just using standard methods of the JavaScript date object here. And the months array of the date object is actually zero based. So we want to add one to this to get the correct month. And we can get the full year using the get full year function. So now we can just set the date as the property of the view model. Awesome, so that should be all we need to do there. So this will give us a nice short date in UK format. Other date formats are available, but you'll need to add them yourself manually because working with dates in JavaScript sucks and I don't really want to go into it now. So now we can add the computed observable. This should also be added to our view model, but it needs to be defined separately after the view model object. And we'll call this title and date and it will be a knockout computed observable. So we use the computed method to create this observable. This method takes a function as an argument and whatever the function returns will become the computed observable. And we'll use the array.join method because we've used it everywhere else. So let's just keep things consistent. But we want to space separate it this time. So we're combining the title observable with the date observable that we just created. So this computed observable function will be invoked automatically by knockout any time that any of the observables that it references change. So if the title or date is ever updated, this function will be invoked and return the two values combined. So now we just need to set the text binding of the H1 to the computed observable. So we do this back in the HTML. So we want to take away the, the existing bindings and the class name actually. 
and we want to set it to our new computed observable which is title and date and we'll use the text binding for this so when we run the page now nothing happens so there must be a typo somewhere it's happening hmm interesting so something is stopping the requests from being made okay so so we want to change this to if title and date as well. So it looks like the property that we're trying to reference here is wrong. That's why everything is not working. So let's see if that works now. Okay, it does work. So as you can see, the title is now combined with the date and that is being set by our computed observable. So in this lesson, we looked at a simple example of a computed observable, which allows us to create dependency chains within our view model. In this application, the chain is very short and is composed of just two properties of our view model. But if we want, we can have computed variables that depend on many observable properties, or even computed observables that depend on other computed variables. These can be extremely useful when working with Knockout and are one of the prime features. In the next lesson, we can look at the visible binding as well as how we can easily get a clean representation of the data held in the view model. Thanks for watching.